Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to spoilers for Thursday, May 16, Abby Newman Abbott will experience friction, which could lead to all of the Billy Abbott drama at Chancellor Winters. Abby might find it difficult to deal with the scheme that Devin Hamilton Winters, Lully Winters, and Nate Hustings are hatching against Billy because he is family. Given that Devin is her lover and she wishes to uphold the legacy of Dominic Newman Abbott Winters Chancellor within the corporation, Abby might ultimately decide to support him. In the meantime, Phyllis Summers will start a plan that she hopes will assist Daniel Bromelotti Jr., but it will go horribly wrong. Phyllis is going to pull off an epic fail in some way, which could reverse any gains Daniel made with Lily in their most recent chat. After the matter was brought up again at the following board meeting, Daniel hoped to at least have Princess Louisa restored to him. Any chance of that happening could be blown by Phyllis once she stirs the pot. According to other Y and R rumors, Audra Charles is going to take a risk and show off her strength. Tucker McCall might suggest to Audra that they should reschedule their trip to Paris so he can focus on assisting Devon in getting rid of Billy. Audra might become enraged upon hearing the information and take decisive action as a response. If Audra still wants them to be in the future, she can issue an ultimatum, telling Tucker he had better board that plane with her. However, if Audra agrees to back out of the engagement, she might play this differently. If Tucker follows through on the vacation itinerary, maybe Audra will agree to wear that ring. All the same, if Tucker holds his ground and insists on using this as an opportunity to win Devon over, Audra might get angry all over again. Tucker might proceed with a dubious suggestion even if Devon rejected it, and he might even prophesy that it will be the key to making things right. According to Y and R teasers, Tucker plans to work on his connection with Devon, but after Ashley Abbott's resentful alter ego, Miss Abbott, pursues him, he might face more serious issues. Be sure not to miss Miss Abbott's imminent attempt to permanently remove Tucker from the picture. The competition between Devon Hamilton Winters and Billy Abbott on The Young and the Restless is intensifying to unprecedented levels, as Jill Abbott has given up all decision-making authority to her son, according to spoilers. Devon was especially pissed off because Jill had done it without notice, and he would much prefer kick Billy out. Devon does not want Billy to be in a position that will increase his influence, rather, she wants him out of Chancellor Winters completely. As this convoluted business tale intensifies, we must inquire, which side are you on? Which team are you supporting? Team Devon or Team Billy? Billy feels like the underdog in this situation, since Devon has a tendency to be a somewhat self-righteous person who constantly passes judgment on other people and acts as though it's his way or the highway. We understand why Jill might try to press the matter because Billy isn't receiving any attention, especially in light of Mamie Johnson's efforts to fire them from Chancellor Winters. However, Billy genuinely seems more focused on advancing his career than on the success of the business. This is about how Chancellor Winters can make Billy feel significant, not about what Billy can accomplish for her. Billy also has a terrible history of committing to anything for an extended period of time. Billy is currently completely focused on Chancellor Winters, but how long will he actually stick with her? Billy may decide to quit the corporate game and go off on his own for the nth time, or he may decide to start a podcast once more. Another factor to consider is that Devon has no reason to trust Billy given his previous actions. Since it's obvious both Devon and Billy have enormous egos, you might not be supporting either of them. Choosing a side is difficult in Y and R because Devon and Billy are both annoying most of the time. Thanks to Tucker McCall's involvement, Billy and Devon's business face-off will include some unexpected news. Tune in to see Tucker assist Devon, Lully Winters, and Nate Hastings, seen Dominic. Here are our predictions for any potential modifications to Billy and Jill's strategy, based on spoilers from The Young and the Restless that suggest they are poised to be taken by surprise. 
is Allen and GC purely out of selflessness, the young and the restless Tuesday, May 14 episode had Tucker pleading for Allen to stay in Geno City. Tucker opened up to Allen about a number of things, including his feelings for Ashley, while the psychiatrist kept things close to his chest. When Tucker discovered Allen at the Geno City Athletic Club, he put on his therapist hat. With only a few pointed queries, he largely remained silent and let Tucker tell all about Ashley's recent actions. Alan let Tucker think he was about to leave, even though he intended to stay in Geno's city. As a result, Tucker opened out to Ashley about his true sentiments of guilt, but Alan didn't appear to be there for anything other than to hang out with Ashley at society. Tucker was entitled, he told Ashley slash Bell, and he had no intention of helping Tucker make sure Ashley received assistance. Was he using this tactic merely to try to gain Ashley's trust in order to investigate the matter further? Is Alan genuinely wanting to become close to Ashley on a personal level? Ashley slash Bell had trouble recalling Catherine Chancellor's specifics when they got to Chancellor Park, so Alan quizzed her a little about it. Ashley slash Bell tried to divert Alan's attention by saying she wanted to kiss him instead of responding. Alan's next moves could reveal a lot about how he intends to handle that, but it was unclear at the time. Alan might be in Geno City attempting to assist his close pal. It is possible, nevertheless, that Alan is there to profit from the circumstances. Alan has just suddenly been up, and it's not that unlikely that he has ulterior motives that Ashley's relatives and ex-partners are unaware of. Is he there to exact revenge on Tucker, Ashley, or another person? The situation for Chancellor Winters appears dire. The Young and the Restless Wednesday, May 15 episode teaser images show that Lily has a lot on her plate at Chancellor Winters and may or may not enlist Devon and Nate's assistance. You won't want to miss these pictures, which show off some of the episode's most dramatic moments. When Jill, Jess Walton, chose to offer Billy her position at the corporation, she dropped a massive bombshell on Lily and Chancellor Winters. Lily felt a little deceived, which was to be expected given that Jill never even brought it up to her. Davin and Nate are available to help Lily get through the situation. Devin has never been entirely at ease with the merger, and he's liking much less so now that Manny is making yet another attempt to gain control on top of Jill's antics. Neither Lily nor Nate appear to be satisfied with what Devon has to say. Lily and Nate, who are cousins, have a conversation after Devon leaves. What actions will they take, and can Nate assist Lily in solving the entire problem? Is this Chancellor Winter's last moment? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.